Hello there. Let's talk compare and contrast key details. Key means important. And to compare and contrast is to find what is similar and what is different between two passages. Sometimes it's like comparing apples to oranges. They are very, very different, more different than similar. Sometimes you really have to look for the differences. They look so similar, like two red apples. Sometimes you see the differences really clearly, but you have to look for similarities a little deeper. How about them apples? Let's use this beautiful, colorful graphic organizer too. Compare and contrast two passages about the same topic. Let's look for differences. These are the words that help you find differences. Sometimes the authors show how two passages are different by using words like but, however, although, more than, less than, on the other hand. And to show similarities, they use words like similar to, alike, same as, and both. Passage number one. Passage number one is about play. It is about how play is important for children. Read the very last line. It says, letting kids play is one of the best things we can do for them. It tells you play is important. And it focuses on imagination and play. In the second paragraph, it talks about how kids can use imagination to play and shows how grown-ups can help kids. It says kids learn while playing. In the first paragraph, it says play is more than fun. It is how kids learn. And the second paragraph also says kids can play with things around the house. Kids can use things around the house on their make-believe racetrack. Kids don't necessarily need toys. They can use things around the house to play. The key or important thing is that they have fun. Let's look at passage number two. Passage number two also says play is important for children. It also says kids use imagination while playing. It says kids learn while playing. Most importantly, passage number two focuses on how to be able to play is a right for every child. It says how kids exercise, and that is how they stay active while playing. And it also says kids learn how to act with other children, so they get to learn how to be social. And because they work out while they play, they are healthy. So these are the two passages. Look at the key points in both passages. Both passages have these common details. And this is unique to passage number one. This is unique to passage number two. Here we have our Apple Venn diagram. In the middle, we know what is the same about the two passages. And here is what is unique to passage number one and what is unique to passage number two. How about them apples? Use this knowledge to read texts more closely, more later. Bye-bye.